Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I am going to explain you about umbrella activities in the subject of software engineering. So basically, before watching this video, I suggest you to watch the video on the process framework because it is going to depend on that. So process framework, you already know it is nothing but establishing a foundation for the software engineering, right? So in process framework, we have two things. First one is the framework activities and the second one is the umbrella activities. About framework activities, I have already explained in the previous video. In this video, let us see about umbrella activities. So basically framework activities, we have uh, five framework activities, right? We have learned. So those five framework activities are best suitable to small projects. Okay. In case you are going for large projects, these five framework activities may not be applicable in that case what you have to do you need to follow these umbrella activities okay so why do you need umbrella activities in order to track control and manage the project you need these eight umbrella activities okay so in this video i'll be explaining you about each and everything so let's get into the you know in depth about each and every umbrella activity first one is software project tracking and control so here what will happen is in the first step in the project tracking and control we will have a software team okay so here we will have a team that team will assess the progress against the plan and take the necessary action in order to maintain the schedule that is for example suppose you have a plan so you are going to complete a software in seven days so on day one what to do on day two what to do on day seven what to do you will have a plan right so we will have a software team who will monitor the plan and who will monitor the progress of the work that is the actual work we are doing and what is the plan whether we are going according to the plan or not if you are not going according to the plan it will try to maintain the schedule it will try to make us go along with the plan the team will guide us the team will suggest us the team will inform us that is you are not going according to the plan please try to go according to the plan got it this is what happens in the software project tracking and control our work progress will be compared against the plan and appropriate uh, decisions or feedback will be given okay that is the first umbrella activity next second one is the risk management risk management is nothing but it will identify the risk okay and it will um, you know analyze the risk what is the reason for the risk from where it has started it will do all the analysis part and it will try to solve the risk or rectify the risk got it so about risk management in the fifth chapter we have a detailed explanation i've already done videos about that uh, but I will be linking according to the uh, playlist order itself so about risk management I have done a complete detailed video but in umbrella activity point of view you need not write all that so if you just define what is risk management that will be enough next comes the software quality assurance so here what will be done is we will be testing the quality of the software that's it to be a uh, very simple so about software quality assurance also i already did uh, you will be learning in the fifth chapter in detail but as of now it will test the quality of the software by doing some activities like reviews um, and so on so by doing some activities it will be testing the quality of the software that's all next comes the formal technical reviews so uh, formal technical reviews also about this also i explained in the fifth chapter like you know uh, formal technical reviews in the sense group of people will be sitting they will be discussing about uh, the things happening if there are any modifications to be done and all same it's also like a, a review only about this i have done in detail video about um, in the fifth chapter you can ha um, you know learn it from there next is measurement so in measurement what will happen is it will measure the cost time manpower how much manpower is required and what are the requirements that are required so all the measurement related activities will be done in this measurement got it next comes the software configuration management so 
simple what do you mean by configuration management if there are any changes so because of that changes what are the effects happening so if there are any changes what are the effects of these changes so when a software is changing or when we are changing the requirements of a software or when we are changing the design of a software so how it is going to affect the user or how it is going to affect the software how it is going to affect the organization all these things will come under the configuration management got it so next is reusability management the seventh one so reusability means what you must be able to use a software or a work product or a requirement or uh, you know a part of software or whatever it is you must be able to use it again right so here in reusability management what will happen is it will define the criteria for reusability that is if you want to use a software again or a work product again what is the criteria that it has to satisfy in order to use it again got it so that will be mentioned here in the reusability management got it next work product preparation and production so here what will happen is it will have the documents all the tables or whatever records files everything related to the uh, which are required to create a work product okay so work product preparation and production in order to create a work product what are all the required so the requirements to create the work product it can have files tables records documents and so on okay so these are the eight umbrella activities we have so i guess you guys are clear about this and that's all for this video we have eight umbrella activities software project tracking and control risk management software quality assurance formal technical reviews measurement software configuration management reusability management work product preparation and production okay so that's all for this video actually after this umbrella activities topic we are having cmmi capability maturity model integration about this i have already done a video in the management sciences playlist so i will uh, give the you know in the, in the playlist order i will include it you can have access from there okay so thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel